News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. News 46 is also brought to you by Humana, serving the community. Please stop in at 1397 South Loop Road on the corner of Loop and Highway 160. Tonight on News 46, police are looking for two subjects. And what's your New Year's resolution? News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Several animals are rescued from deplorable conditions. It's Thursday, December 28th. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is looking for two subjects wanted for questioning. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is seeking information from the public as to the whereabouts of 46-year-old Keith Sean Holman and 33-year-old Kristen Foff. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office press release, the two are wanted for questioning in a case relating to animal abuse and neglect and possible narcotic sales and possession. The Nye County Sheriff's Office say that deputies and detectives and animal control officers responded to an address in the 3000 block of Leonard Street here in Pahrump in regards to a report of animal abuse and neglect. The investigation began when an anonymous report was made to the Nye County Sheriff's Office. Officers arrived on location. They were able to see two severely emaciated dogs on the property. Multiple attempts were allegedly made to contact the residents on the property but were unsuccessful. Officers subsequently obtained a search warrant to remove the dogs and to identify the residents who were not home at the time. A search of the property and home eventually yielded a total of five dogs who had suffered various stages of physical neglect, injuries, malnutrition, and were found tethered or locked in kennels, according to the report. The residents were identified during the investigation as Keith Holman and Kristen Foff. During the course of the investigation, additional evidence revealed possible narcotics possession and sales occurring on the property. Animal control officers removed the dogs and placed them into protective custody and treatment pending the ongoing investigation. Detectives are seeking to interview Keith Holman and Kristen Foff and are requesting the public's assistance. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 775-751-7000. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is reporting a man was recently harassing workers at a local brothel. They say that in the evening on December 16th, that dispatch received a call from employees at the Love Ranch brothel in Crystal, stating there was a man threatening them over the telephone. A deputy was dispatched, took statements from the witnesses, and initiated a case. On the evening of December 17th, the suspect arrived at the Love Ranch and was reportedly talking and acting crazy, threatening the employees and ran. The man was asking about murders and calling the owner of the brothel, Dennis Hoff, a murderer. The manager at the facility told him to leave the premises, and he complied. Police say the manager then called the Nye County Sheriff's Office and attempted to convey the incident to a deputy, but was very upset, and the message was not fully understood. A sergeant was contacted, and the message was conveyed. The man has not returned to the Love Ranch, according to police. He has been identified as a Las Vegas resident. The case is still under under investigation. Anyone with additional information, please contact Lieutenant Harry Williams at 775-751-7000. You can push option five. A baby man was taken into custody following a domestic dispute. Kurt Allen Wentz was taken into custody by the Nye County Sheriff's Office for possession of a firearm by a prohibited person and domestic battery by strangulation. Deputies were dispatched to 4th Street in Beatty in reference to a domestic dispute involving a firearm. When deputies arrived on scene, they spoke with the victim, who advised them that she was choked by her boyfriend, Kurt Wentz. Kurt and the victim allegedly reside together in Beatty at this address. The victim also said that Wentz had several firearms inside the residence. 
A records check conducted by Knight County Sheriff's Office dispatch advised deputies on scene that Wentz had previously been convicted of domestic battery. The victim said that Kurt was sleeping in a room and he had a firearm under his pillow and a shotgun under his bed. Deputies took Wentz into custody and retrieved the firearm from underneath the pillow. They also searched for other weapons throughout the residence and found another handgun that was locked in a safe and a shotgun that was recovered from underneath the bed that Kurt was sleeping in. Wentz was transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. After this break, we'll see what's happening in news across the state and have your business first brief.